the first overall pick of the 1996 NBA Draft. An 11-time All-Star with four NBA scoring titles, a Rookie of the Year, and a Most Valuable Player Award. The man with the ankle-breaking crossover, Allen Iverson, one of the greatest shooting guards to ever play the game. He was never the biggest or strongest player on the court, but it never held him back from being the most feared. It's often forgotten that he was an elite two-sport athlete in high school. Not only did he have the basketball talent, but he dominated on the football field as well. So what if he took a different path? At Bethel High School, a state championship and a Mr. Football award made it that much easier for Iverson to choose football over basketball. It was not hard to make his decision to play for the University of West Virginia. Iverson always wanted to stay near home and he felt like they were the best program for him. His decision proved a good one as he led the Mountaineers to a national championship along with the Heisman Trophy for himself in his senior season. The first overall pick in the NFL draft by the Philadelphia Eagles. And 14 years later, Allen Iverson is a Philadelphia legend. He's gotten all he could ask for throughout his career except for one thing, a Super Bowl victory. His days in the league are numbered and it would mean everything to him if he could bring a Lombardi Trophy to Philadelphia for the fans. He has one last shot as the Eagles will be taking on the Steelers in Super Bowl 47. It all comes down to this, 1 minute and 53 left in the game. Allen Iverson has one last shot to lead his team down the field and force overtime. One last shot to bring that trophy to Philly. On first and 10, the screen pass goes for about a yard, so that brings up second and nine. As Iverson dropped back, he hits the receiver and he's gonna take that one to midfield where he is taken down at the Pittsburgh Steelers 46 yard line. Iverson drops back looking for receivers. He throws it to the middle and that is deflected, nearly intercepted, a risky throw. On second and 10, Iverson's gonna find the receiver, Johnson, who takes it past the first down marker to move the chains. Another fresh set of downs here for the Eagles. Iverson rolls out. He's going to go for a pass, but he is hit just as he releases it, so the ball falls harmlessly to the ground. On second and 10, Iverson goes deep. It is deflected and nearly intercepted by Troy Palomalu, the veteran safety. Third and 10, another pass deep, and that is once again deflected. That's going to bring up fourth and 10. This could be the very last play of Allen Iverson's career. He's dropping back in the pocket. He finds a receiver. He breaks a tackle. He's moving down. And he fumbles the ball. That is recovered by the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are your 2013 Super Bowl champions. A heartbreaking defeat for Allen Iverson and the Philadelphia Eagles. They had the, the game in the grasp of their hands, and they blew it. Could this be it for Iverson? Could he be done? Could his career be over? Or will he be back next year, hungry for more, hungry for a Super Bowl? Hello and welcome to a special St. Patrick's Day edition of NBA 2K13 Create a Legend featuring Nate Robinson. Before tip off, let's go to Tamika Jackson, our field correspondent with some breaking news. Thanks HD. Earlier today, both Brian and Rose participated in their team shoot around session. Kobe, who has not been medically cleared, says his ankle has felt better, but he hopes to return for the playoffs. D. Rose, on the other hand, who has been medically cleared by team doctors, says he feels great. How great? Well, just moments before tip-off, he gave the home crowd a treat by dunking, get this, over a car. When asked why isn't he playing tonight, he said, and I quote, I don't want to rush it. Back to you, HD. Thanks to Mika and both ball clubs, ladies and gentlemen, have been plagued with the injury bug as of late. The Lakers have two all-stars out as the saws out with plantar fasciitis. We just learned that Kobe Bryant is listed day-to-day -day with severe high ankle sprain, but the Bulls themselves have also been plagued with the injury bug as Heinrich Gibson and Hamilton are both out as well as the MVP. Derrick Rose insert the starting lineups Robinson Bellinelli in the backcourt for the Bulls as well as Jody Meeks and Earl Clark will start today for the Lakers. What's happening? It's me. You play upon here Mr. HD3 often imitated but never ever ever duplicated back. 
once again with this NBA 2K13 Credit Legend gameplay featuring Nate Robinson on a special St. Patrick's Day edition. And you see the new custom KDs that's exclusive for this game. First quarter action, 6 Four, Nate Robinson going to the heart of the painting, gets the baby jumper to go. Letter on the first quarter, four minutes left to go. Nate Robinson, long jumper. No, but Noah's there. Yes, with the putback to put his team up by four. Later in the first quarter again, Butler swings it to Cook. Spot up three. Money. He knocks it down, folks. That score is now 17-13. Last seconds of the first quarter. Nate Robinson spinning off, hanging in the air, and gets the tough shot right there. Elbow jump shot off balance, but it goes in. Nothing but net. Lakers up by four at halftime. Third quarter, Lakers are up by five. Nate Robinson is dribble drive. Gets a step past his defender, and he dunks it down with the one hand. Tomahawk slam. That would be a sports center. Top 10 nominee if I ever seen one. Kicks it out to Boozer. Knocks down a 16 foot jump shot. That goes in. Boozer's unconscious right now. Shooting 8 for 9. Robinson down the lane again. He goes. Nate Robinson just blows past the entire Laker defense as the White Howard is late to slide his feet over. And Nate shows his athletic ability. 43 inch vertical on the replay. Later in the fourth quarter, Bulls down by 10, but not for long. Noah, nothing but the bottom of the net. He reduces the lead by eight. Nate Robinson, long jumper. No, but Johnny on the spot is Joakim Noah, and he will mess around and get a double-double, and this one brings the Bulls within six. Nate Robinson driving baseline, get the scoop in the score, brings his team within four. Bellinelli, big time, offers a rebound. Nate Robinson way downtown, bang, bang. Under a minute half left to go in the game. Crowd is on their feet, screaming, chanting at the top of their lungs. Bulls desperately need to stop. Down by three. Jody Meeks shots goes in. As he silenced the United Center crowd. Lakers will end up hanging on to this lead. Knock down all their free throws. Was handy. And that's gonna effectively wrap it up. Thank you guys so so much for watching. The victory goes to the Lakers. Final score in this one, folks, is 81. 73. My name is Mr. HD3 and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.